The first optimization we're going to perform is to optimize your energy saver. So if you're not in the System Preferences window yet, click on the Apple menu and select System Preferences. Then, in the Hardware section, select Energy Saver. If you notice that everything's grayed out and you're not able to change anything, click the lock in the bottom left, enter your password, and click Unlock. Now you're able to change your settings. So go ahead and pull the slider all the way to the right for computer sleep, click OK in the next prompt, and also uncheck Put Hard Disk to Sleep when possible. Go ahead and click the lock again, and you're all set. If you're using a laptop, you'll notice you have two different tabs for battery and power adapter. So once again, you may need to click the lock again in the bottom left, enter your password, and select OK. As we did previously, pull the computer sleep tab all the way to the right, uncheck put the hard disk to sleep when possible, select the battery tab at the top, do the same thing for computer sleep, uncheck put the hard disk to sleep again, and click the lock to prevent any further changes. This optimization will free up valuable system resources as well as prevent the computer from going into sleep or standby mode. When it goes into either of these modes, it can cause audio dropouts with Pro Tools software and hardware. It can also result in DAE or AAE 9094 errors when pressing play if the computer is allowed to go to sleep. You can turn this feature back on when you're not running Pro Tools, but it's not recommended to put your hard disk or computer to sleep when using Pro Tools. And one final Pro Tools helper quick tip. If you have a laptop, make sure you don't close the lid on your laptop display while using Pro Tools, as this is manually putting your computer to sleep.